What's up, boys? Data782 here with episode 41 of Fixing the Franchise here at the beginning of the 2029 offseason, coming off our second straight Stanley Cup, beginning to start and uh, hopefully solidify ourselves as a dynasty after so many years of pain and heartache. And now we find ourselves at the 2029 draft, where we don't have a pick until I think pick uh, like 62 or something, because that's 31 times 2, the last pick of the second round. And in the last episode, we were looking at the draft class and people I might want to trade. But although I do want to trade them, I think I'd rather trade them once free agency starts or whatever and try to get someone solid. Because I don't think that, um, I don't know, elite power forward, medium elite, high elite, these guys. I don't think there's anyone I really, really want that I'm really going to trade up for. Maybe one of these two guys, Pandolfo or Boutte. Another Boutte. Uh, who are both exact elites? Maybe they'll be. Maybe they'll drop a bit down further in the first round. This guy too, Niedermeyer, exact elite later in the first round. Maybe. So I'm gonna draft the. F I'm gonna simulate the first like I don't know, ten picks or something. See what happens. Uh, medium elite center goes to the Coyotes. Medium elite power forward to the Penguins. Medium elite defenseman to the Sabers. Medium elite sniper to the Islanders. No one really high in overall that much. Top four D there to the Stars. Uh, top 6 4, top 4 D, medium elite guy right there. And oh my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. Philippe Boutin. Ay, ay, ay. Man, that is a great pick for the Islanders. I'm really tempted to like go back in time and just try and trade up, trade for this guy, but where am I going to put him? If Hapsheet is my new third line center, Boutin, I don't know where am I going to put this guy? I have no room in my center depth for him. My centers are Lafreniere, Corso. Hapsheet's going to want a lot of money, probably. Debye might want to play fourth line. Thomas, I'm probably going to have to let go. If I have Debye and Hapsheet. Gotta just roll with it, bro. Gotta be fair. Gotta be fair. It's... You know what? Sim to user pick. I'm not gonna make any of these trades. Butane would have been nice, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, here's my pick. 62nd overall. Let's just get through this draft so we can get to the real stuff. Bottom six, don't want him. Um, two way forward, defensive defenseman. Medium top nine guy right here, Warren Matthews. Left wing, medium, top six, 20 years old. Uh, I'm just going to go for him. Let's go for that guy. He ended up being medium elite. Okay, okay, I'll take that. 70 overall, medium elite. Carry Malvi Malvara. Okay. 70 overall at 20 years old. Um, so you have trade value. Him and Kiprasov could be, and Bannock or whatever, could all be pieces for me. Uh, where is he? Left wings. Nice. Good trade value right there. Good, good, good. Kiprasov too. Yeah, he has his value still. All right, all right. I will take that. That's a good con... con uh, what's the word? Uh, consolation prize? Consolation prize, yeah. That's it. Sim to user pick again. Now we're going to the last pick of the third round. I didn't trade for many picks that were early. I think they're all later. Um, man, there's nobody here. This guy's exact seventh. High top nine, this guy from like Bulgaria. Terry Klo. Nobody. I'm going to trade this pick. Hold on. See if I can get a fourth and a seventh next year for my third right now from Buffalo. Yeah, not too much deli to deliberate. Nice. So fourth and a seventh next year. What did they end up taking? I'm about to pick again anyways. They ended up taking a, yeah, the 7th D right there. Okay, great. Uh, fourth round. Who are they going to take here? Bottom six. Bottom six. Is there anyone now? Uh, if I sort fourth round. Everyone's exact bottom six except for this high top nine. Any exacts? Anything? Low top 6 D. Do I listen to Big Mikey? Maybe that'll give me someone uh, low elite or something. 
Let's do it. Why not? What is it, what's it going to be? Medium 70. But there is really nobody there. Medium 70. There's a top 60 there. There's a few top 60s. It's a few top line forwards. Actually, almost any defenseman would have been better. Top 6. But what's up with my scouts, bro? Why don't they uncover any of these guys? Do I take this guy? I guess so. Defensive defenseman, Ladipov. I have too many defensive defensemen. Too many two ways as well. I'd like to have like an offensive guy. Scouted this guy four times. Scouted this guy twice. I'll take the high top nine sniper. Cal Johansson. Uh, stats don't even look that good though. What a buzz. Kasparitis. 6-4, two-way forward. Why not? Let's try him. He is, let's see again, he is medium bottom six. Nice. This guy was medium top six D. Could have taken him. Seventh D. Pits, bro. There's nothing. Uh, I think the offensive defenseman. Mm, yeah, let's try the offensive defenseman. Another 7th D. All the top 6 go in the... I can't get any of them. All bottom 6 forwards. Here's my next pick here. Okay, make another trade. Hold on a sec. I'm going to take a 7th D year after. Is that going to work? Yeah, alright. A 5th and a 6th and a 7th for 2 fifths. Who could I have gotten here? Bottom 6. Nice. I pick again right here anyways. This guy would have been bottom 6 if I had taken him. I think it's time to start just taking my guys. Forget uh, whoever's listed where. Okay, I'm going to take... Um, who am I going to take? I see the pins as well. Okay, this guy I'm going to unpin because now his potential is gone. I'm going to unpin this guy as well. I'll keep this guy pinned. I've got this guy 12 times. You know, who do I want to pin instead of those guys? Pin that guy and uh, a bunch of two-way forwards. I don't know. This guy, maybe. A lot of top nines. Okay. Who am I going to take now? The top exact uh, fifth slash sixth top nine. Do I take him? 18 years old, Matthias Nilsson. Or just take the guys that I want. I'm just going to take my guys. Barrett, what are you? Low top six. Okay. Now I'll take my next guy. Medium elite seventh round, Postma, two-way forward. He is low top nine. Great scouting, guys. You scouted him 12 times. You scouted this guy five times. You couldn't tell me anything. Great scouting, boys. Great scouting. Exact top nine. This guy is a two-way forward, 5'11", Matt Yannick. There's this guy. Devin uh, Rammer. Hey, <laughs> Rammer from uh, EA. Loves just sliding his name in there, eh? I have a lot of centers though. Laurent Brouillard. Take him later. Okay, let's take Yannick. Whatever. Medium top nine, 65 overall. Not the worst. Seventh round, pick number three. Is he still here, my guy? Uh, he is. Brouillard. He is. Medium top nine, 62 overall. Next pick. Did my other guy already go? Brouillard. He's a sniper, right? Is this him? I think this is him. If he was 55 overall, then all worried about missing him. Uh, who's left now? No, it's him, Bieksa. Yeah. He's a top six two AD as well. Komachi. Six foot. Uh five nine. The shooting doesn't even look that good. Yeah, let's go with the uh, let's go with the D over here. Oh this guy, Chartre. Francois Chartre. Forget it. Komachi. Low top 6D. My favorite. 202nd overall. Uh, BX is still there. A few exact top lines are still there. Pittis. Preston Pittis. He's 6'3. Right wing sniper. But make your day, bro. I'll make your day. Low top. <laughs> Low top nine, nice. 
And my last pick with all these, uh, I have a lot of seventh round guys here, man. My team has so many pa people on them. It's either Tulipov, the 6'6 power forward, Hope, the two way forward. Yeah, let's go with uh, Tulipov. Medium top line, 63 overall. Nice. The EXO is not, nah, he was nothing that special. Last pick is that guy. All right, great stuff, boys. Great draft. Now, moving into the resign phase with lots of bellows who are in a lot of lot going to want a lot of money fingers crossed let's let me guess none of them want extensions after winning back to back cups i have barely any cap space i have 16 mil of cap space and no one wants an extension right let's see ufas N nobody wants an extension rfas everyone wants an extension makes sense okay McIsaac, how much money do you want McIsaac? yeah you want a lot of money he's a good defenseman if I offer you one year at uh, 7.350, what would you say to that? Uh, Akil Thomas, I'm probably going to have to let you go. Uh, maybe. Antonio, no, I don't think I can keep you. Bro, Dirt, I guess he wants to spread his wings and fly. Bobby Lev, yeah, he's never even played a game with me. Uh, these guys are rest prospects. Go to RFAs. Monroe's going to want a lot. Yeah, I don't know if I can sign him. Habsheed, need to sign him for the third line. Uh, sign him to a one-year deal. So he does. Yeah, uh, 2.650. Markstrom, how much do you want? No, that's no chance you're getting that. Qualify and trade you. Are not yeah, I would like to trade uh, sign you, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll give you uh, two years at 1.4. Davies, I would like to sign you. Whoa. Is he supposed to be really good or something? Wow, the computer thinks he's going to be good in the future. All right, one-year deal. I'll sign him to one-year, 1.250. One Blake, how much do you want? Okay, I can do that. One-year, 0.950 maybe. Debian, he's probably going to want my, uh, yeah. One year, 1.150. Bear Marsh, I don't know. McCormick, uh, I'll get back to all these guys in a sec. Let me see goalies, goalies. Oliver, I'm gonna have to trade you unfortunately, so I'm just gonna qualify you. And Boos, he's a backup. Potential, who's playing now? Osgood with him as backup. Back. XLV, no, I'm just gonna release you. Okay. Thomas does not want an extension. I'll offer him one year, four point. No, you know what? I'm gonna have to release him, unfortunately. Antonio, I'm gonna release you. Uh, who are my rookies here? Caffrey. Caffrey, I'll sign. Uh, Blackney, I don't know. Summers. I'll sign you, I guess. Steckel, I don't know. Who else is down here? This guy, I'll release, release you. Garnett, low top nine, I'm gonna release you. Okay. Who else is an RFA? That's it? Okay. Advancing a day now. Let's see what people say. Uh, McIsaac is the biggest one. Blake accepts. Great. Davies accepts. Caffrey accepts. Debian accepts. Arnaud accepts. This is all very good. McIsaac rejects. Okay. Summers. Habshi. That's good. Okay. Habshi. I'm uh, happy he's signed. He was. Uh, he was an RFA, right? Yeah, he would have signed anyways. He wanted it. So much money do I have left now? I have thirteen point five eight six million. UFA is not too many. McIsaac does not want to re-sign, so I might have to let him go to free agency and sign him there. Uh, I'll offer you one year, six, 7.650. Broder, it's going to be tough. There might be room now for him, now that I just I let go of Monroe and all those guys. I'll give you one year, 1.750. Uh, Blatney. Uh, I'll sign Blatney. Steckel, I'll probably let go. Drafted him in the third round. Neil Steckel, he's a big boy. Low, he's medium top nine. 
tempting. I just have too many centers. Release you. Release you. And release you. Steckle. I'll get back to Steckle, I guess. Uh, McCormick. What did you want? You were open to a two-way deal. That's nice. Okay. I'll give you exactly what you're asking for. And Marsh, you also wanted to? No, you want one way. I'll give you that on a two way, but Monroe, I'll just qualify you. I'll, uh, I don't know if I'll trade. He does want the extension. Maybe I could afford to sign him. Can I give him like one year five mil? What do you say to that? Because I'd like to keep him. He was good on the second line, didn't pay much for him either. Uh, yeah, okay, that's a day. McIsaac will probably reject. Marsh rejects because of the two way. Brodeur wants to test the free agent market. McCormick accepts. Monroe rejects because of the dollar value. And McIsaac wants to go to free agency. Okay. Uh, so McIsaac will probably let walk. Brodeur, I'll offer him one last contract at 1.8. 1.825, last chance. Steckel, I think I just have too much uh, center depth in the system. Centers, one, two, yeah, all these guys. I gotta sign him as well to get some. Okay, Dimitrakos is gonna come play. Steckel, I'm gonna have to let you go, unfortunately. Who else is unsigned? Who has good potential? Uh, okay, this guy, um, the guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Angle, I'll sign you so you can get some playing time. Do I sign Koltsov? I don't know about Koltsov yet. Is that it? Top 6D, Yonkman, I'll sign you. Let me sort by overall. Uh, Watton, Woten. Okay, I'll stop there. Advance another day. All right, so Engel accepts, Mitrakos, Yonkman, Brodeur rejects, okay. Calmivara accepts, good. So I'm going to release Brodeur and McIsaac, I think, just to get them out of the way. Then if I make a trade, if I trade Kachuk or something, that would really free up a lot of space. UFA, McIsaac, and Brodeur release both of them. RFAs, uh, Monroe didn't want for that dollar value, so I'll offer him... How much money do I have? Thirteen point. Yeah, I could. I can do it. Should I give him a three-year, a two-year deal? Low elite potential is still growing. So I'm gonna try giving him three years at five point four two five. See what he says to that. And Marshall I'll qualify and trade probably because I'm not signing him to a one-way deal. I thought for sure he's gonna let Monroe go. Yeah. That's why I'm kind of surprised that I'm signing him, because I thought for sure he was a goner. Okay, so three years of 5.4, he said no. He'd probably take that deal if I offered it to him for two years. RFA Monroe. Two years, 5.450. Let's try that. Oh, you know, I know he's only 84 overall, but... It's the fluctuations of money, you know, the uh, inflation, that's what happens. He accepts that one, okay, nice. So I got Monroe back on the team, I think that's it. So I'm just in advance to free agency, trade block, why did you edit it when I just fixed it at the deadline? Uh, who's who's where now, of course, 91, Connor 91. All right, so Kachuk, Shanahan, and Oliver. Free agency now. Let's check it out. Oh no! Why did I advance today? Uh, yeah, yeah. Good thing nobody signs in the first day. Okay, Heiskanen, McIsaac, Donahue, Curtis. Who's this guy? Colton Curtis, offensive defenseman, top four D. Fifty-two point season. How's his defensive categories? Pretty good. Four and a half stars. Offensive awareness ninety-five. Maybe I'll sign him instead of. Uh, McIsaac, Heiskanen is good, but he's like the very stay-at-home, gets like three points a year. McIsaac wants lots, he's older. I just signed Curtis. Markstrom, I got a trade. 
wants a lot. Let me try Curtis. Yeah, let me try this guy, Curtis. He wants, uh, okay, so I'll give him three years. I'll give you three years at 7.725. How about that? 750. Just made three years at 7.750. Uh, goalies. Goalies. Grume Morris is a free agent. Wow. Grume Morris. How the mighty have fallen, huh? Let's see if he makes some money in free agency. Rangers traded for Grume Morris and just let him go. Chow Corso. Anyone elite here? Yeah, there's one elite guy, but he's 19 years old. Tyler Layton. I could use him in Laval. Why not? I'll just offer him a deal, see if he likes it. Any potential forwards? Low, a lot of low elites here. Anybody young? These two guys are both low elite. Piero, another Piero is a bottle. And Anthony De Kaiser. He's a sniper. Mm, three star shooting. Uh. I don't like those senses or puck skills. Well, Piero is a bottle. Two way forward, six three. Nah, I have a lot of guys in the minors. I don't think I need to sign any of them. Okay, let's look at forwards. Donahue, Nathaniel Donahue, two way forward, sixth round pick in 2021. Pretty good. Daniel Donnie, Pavel Zaka, Jacobson, Jakobson, Akil Thomas, Kolosov. My cap space, I just spent a lot on uh, Curtis. Probably won't have enough money. Unless I were to trade Kachuk, which I'm not really down to do unless there was someone I wanted just yet. Donnie's tempting, but I have to, I'd have to give him about 7 mil. And uh, Monroe has the second line spot anyways. So I'm going to pass on that. I'm going to save up the file, and then I'm going to see what uh, people have to say. So I really wanted to keep McIsaac, but this guy could be better and younger and a little less expensive. So I got him in that uh, in the Lafreniere deal, but I might just let him walk. We'll see what people say. Jacob Truba for a first and a second. Not Truba's old now. Uh, advanced another day. Leighton rejects. Understandable. Looking for a team with a better mix of players from where I'm from. Okay. I'm not sure where you're from, but I'm sure I have many of them on my team. Advance one more day. Curtis accepts. Wow, that's very good. That's uh, He liked the money. Okay. Anyone left that I sent offers to? Is it just those two guys? Yeah, it was just those guys. I'm left with 2.486 of cap space. Yeah. Kippers, uh, Mark's going to have to trade. This guy, Walter, looks cool. Tyson Walter. Rupert. Riley Rupert. Yeah, I'm gonna let everybody else. Let's check out my uh check out the depth here. So looking at forwards here, going by overall, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Davies is definitely in the lineup. Murat, I'm not sure. Might be Debier. Where's Debier? Is he here? Debier. It depends if he grows. Depends on who grows, yeah. And then defense, one, two, three, four, five, six. Depends. These three guys are battling for one spot pretty much because the Barrett and Kerr is probably the top line. Climber Branca on the second pair. And the third pair will be two of these three, most likely, because. What's his name is gonna leave? Yeah, Marsh is gonna leave. I'm gonna trade Marsh as well. Silverberg could grow. Kippersoft, I'm not sure. Goalies are there. Bannock, Oliver got a trade. Uh, Abel Schauser. Okay, okay. Um, okay, first, second, third, and I don't know about who's the fourth line center. Left wings. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So Murata probably won't play. Mm, two, three, four. Creamer. Creamer's playing third line, probably. I'm not sure. Let's advance to the next to next season and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna keep those guys in the block, see what people have to offer me. I'm gonna trade first I gotta trade uh, Markstrom though. And Bear. So I'd browse the trade blocks. Pick. Second round pick. 
Trade accepted. Nice. All right, that's done. Get that over with. Do I have anybody else that I have who are RFAs? If you could stop sending me to the wrong page. Who did McIsaac sign with? The Sharks. Gourmet Morris went to the Islanders. Donahue went to the Flames. Heisen into the Senators. My RFAs? No. Anybody else in these contracts? Who's expiring? Anybody want an extension? Only Barranco wants an extension. How much money do you want? A lot of money, huh? Bah, I can give you a two-year extension at like 5.150. That wouldn't be the worst. I don't know what you think, Barranca. Get that out of the way before you grow and you want more money. All right, let's start sending off to next season. Barranca accepts. Nice. I got that done. One last guy that I have to re-sign next year. All right, so here we are. Ready to start the year. Let's check out these lines. Uh, Dexter Creamer, how should up to an 85? That's good. Davies at an 83. Good, good, good. Defense, Curtis, Laxanen, Tony Laxanen grew. Wow. All right, so let's go to uh, goalies as well. Goalies, 88 for Osgood. Alex Shaws are 85. Scratches, Blake, are not. Okay, let's go to roster moves. Figure out who's going to play where. Um, right away, Wheel, Murata. Blake, I'll send you down, and the system, I'll just leave you there. Uh, under the minimum skater limit? What happened? Uh, keep Blake. Okay. Okay, okay. So, one, two, three, oh, sorry. Forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, you're right. So I'll call up uh, Murata again. My bad, Murata. Uh, who's playing center here? I only have three centers. That's the problem. If I sent down Murata, I'd have to call up Debian. Debian, I thought he was going to grow more. But he is listed as a fourth line guy. Do I give Debian the chance or give it to Wheel? I think I'm going to give it to Debian. The bay I'm gonna call you up. Murata's gonna be depth. Left wings one, two, three, four. Right wings one, two, three, four. Uh, defense one, two, three, four, five, six. McTaggart and Blake. Clarence Blake didn't really do much last year. McTaggart in the AHL had a 16 point year. I think they'll be interchangeable. I'm gonna start with McTaggart and see how he does actually. Blake will be a scratch. Goalies are there in the system. Oh, you Bannock up to an 85. Ay, ay, ay. X will be up to a 77 as well. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with the, those guys. Best lines. Okay, okay. I don't know if I want Creamer down here. Davies, I mean, he's a third line scoring forward, but I think this is how it's going to have to be. Maybe like this. Uh, Curtis will go here. Laxanen. Put McTaggart for now. Top four. When did I get this guy? Oh yeah, I traded. For, it was in the Islanders trade with Sagan. He's a, this is a top four D. Goalies. Yeah. Okay. AHL. Best lines. Kiprasov's up to a 74. Silverberg 79. Carry Malvia, yeah, yeah. Mitrakos, Wilcox, Engel. Okay, okay. Set the captains, yeah. It's probably still the same as always. Yes. Okay, I'm going to check out trade blocks and probably trade. Yeah, I got to trade Bannock. Free agents. I'd love to keep both of them, but can't. Any uh, goalies I can play in Laval? Uh, Oliver, I'm going to have to trade him. He's too good. Um, minor starter. I like a minor backup. Yeah, this guy. Minor backup. Pale Meyer. Zach Fucali. I'll sign this guy to play in uh, Laval. With uh, Axelby. 
and see if I can trade Bannock. So I'm going to check those trade blocks and get back in a sec. Let me just also want to see their uh, trade value. Trade value. Yeah, Bannock's still pretty high. Oliver tradable. Everyone has a lot, a lot of people have high trade value. These two guys right here. Trade bait if needed. Curtis. I'm surprised he's not at a higher value than that. Monroe, too. Okay. Mm uh no uh, Colorado what would Colorado say they don't want to trade their second really no uh, they do okay I can get a second from Colorado without having to give up any of my picks very nice sorry that I had to move you Oliver but it was for the greater good hopefully you got some playing time over in Colorado so now how many picks do I have I have a lot of picks this draft I have two firsts, three seconds, two fourths, two fifths, two sixths, and two sevenths. Okay. Hopefully it's a good year. I'm going to add Bannock to my trade block as I simulate through the preseason. Not trading them just yet because I think I'm going to leave it to uh, the viewers to help me out. So I'm going to let you guys know in a sec. Uh, yeah, I'm going to let you, I'm going to show you guys what my predicament is. My wants are top board D. A first line forward or even a second line forward. Yeah. So simulate up to oh wait, no, stop, stop, stop. Stop the sim. That guy that backup just signed. That's good. I want to sim through the preseason first. And I will Yeah, for now I'll set my power plane pony kill lines, so just give me a sec. All right, so these will be the lines in the NHL to start the year. Are not down here. Debian, Davies, third, second, first all look like that. Defense looks like this. Special teams will look like this. The first line in the playoffs was Shanahan, Lafreniere, and Connor, which did very well. I'll keep them there. Uh, I think I'm going to put Kachuk here. Instead of usually I go like this, I think I'm going to put it like that. Corso on the wing. Hapshi at center. Dexter on his off wing here. See how that works for them on the power play. Tony Kill will look like this. Davies is actually pretty good defensively. 88 awareness, 98 shot blocking, 88 stick checking. So I'll keep him on the Tony Kill for now. Shanahan, my best defensive forward. Habsheed, very good. Lafreniere, yes. Um, as well as Laxanen, who is four-star defensive. Try to get him some playing time. Goalies, Osgood, Abelchauer. And scratches are Murata and Blake. AHL lines look like that. Nothing too crazy. Guys with the highest potential go up. Defense, same as here. Uh, Kiprasov, I want to put him up here with Silverberg, but they're both defensive. Actually, I'll put it like this. They're both defensive defensemen, so I'll keep it like that. Uh, and goalies look like this with Exelby and Peelmeyer. Scratch, trust some guys that just didn't make the lineup. And Bannock, who will eventually be traded, most likely. Um... Yeah, so with that all done, let's simulate through the preseason and let's see how the results look. So first game against Ottawa, we beat them 7-1, to one, all right. Tampa Bay Lightning, we win 5-1, to one. that's 12 goals in two games. We lose 4-3 in a shootout to the Panthers. Hopefully soon the scouts should tell us how the uh, rookie class looks for uh, the upcoming season. We beat the Sabres 3-2. Toronto, we beat them 3-2. to two. Detroit, we beat them 2-1. to one. And the Bruins, we... Can we finish off? Uh, yeah, undefeated in regulation. So 6-0-1 oh, with a 4-3 overtime win against the Bruins in the preseason. Very good preseason. Cole Corso, 13 points in 7 games. Let's check out the points here. Corso, 13 points in nine, uh, 7 games. Kachuk, 9 points, Shannon, 7, Connor, 7, Lafreniere, 6, Habsheed, Monroe, Curtis, that's nice. Dexter, only 3 points up on that first line. Clymer, Davies, Barrett. Uh, okay, Creamer, only 1 assist and a negative 3, which is a bit weird. Um, well, power play points. Who got some power play points? Lafreniere, a couple. Barrett, Shannon, yeah. It was only the first, only first power play pair that got anything. Shorthanded points, anyone? No. How were the goaltenders? Uh, well, just Osgood, 6 only one He went 9.35 save percentage with 1.83 goals against average. 
Any big names around the league? Uh, all skaters. Points. Uh, led the league. It was Coral Corso led the league. Nice. May. Look who it is. Matsuro Bank. 10 points in 5 games with 84 overall with the Rangers. At least they got something out of that deal. There's only lost Grumay Morris. Casey Jenks. I was thinking of getting him. Piero's a bottle. Yeah. Pratt. Besser. Shanahan. McDavid. Both 5 goals each. Okay. Nathan Bastion. Doesn't mean much right now. AHL didn't even play yet. Okay, so that's it for the preseason. Looks like the team is looking half decent thus far. I'm not going to touch anything. Except maybe I might, I don't know, maybe the um, second uh, second power play pair. Maybe. Our season kicks off against the Dallas Stars. Uh, so now here is my question moving into next episode. Kachuk, I don't know if I'm going to trade Kachuk, but if I do trade him or Shanahan or someone with Bannock, or if I trade just Bannock, who do I get back? These are the, you know, who, who do I get back, really? I'm going to go through each team. You can see, I'm going to go through each team quickly, and you can pause to see if there's anybody that you think I should pick up. Look at the contract, look at the age, look at the overall, look at the position, and then you can let me know. So let me just quickly do that, and there won't be really any talking, so I'll just go through all the teams. So those are all the possible, uh, those are all the teams. Lots of tempting people in there, lots of good players. So let me know your thoughts about who I should get. I'm going to leave the episode off at that. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the beginning of the 2029-2030 season as we look to start our journey to the 3 -peat. I'll see you in the next one.